you need prophet like us to speak to you. Now you don't love the lady again. You don't love the man again. What happened? He broke my heart. You made him or her to break your heart. So repent. I'm not talking to all of you here. People think marriage is just marriage. It's a covenant forever. That's why when you are going to be careful the kind of man or the woman you go to marry. You say, eh, I didn't know. No problem. When you were caught, you were only after sex. And after eating, eating. And after what we uh, video is it what? Uh, cinemas. Uh, uh, let's go to cinema. Uh -huh. Then the man is like this. And you two, you are sitting here, the man's leg is on you. And then you are watching. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you sit there. Mm. Then, then the man, the man will say, ah, the man, as you are watching the tram. The man say, mm. And then from there you go to a room. Then sex takes place. You say, Oh God, forgive me. Yeah, daddy, daddy preach this message. Oh. Daddy preach that message. You are not watching my message. If you had watched my message, this is what have happened to you. And now you say, I don't love the man or the woman again. When you were caught, what did you do? The foundation of everything is the strength of the, that thing. So, before you get married, if you do not build a solid foundation, the marriage will not stand and will never survive challenges. Marry because you want to win souls. Your husband is a soul. Your wife is a soul. Yes. Your children are souls. Your children are standing before you and both of you are fighting. You come to church. You are fighting in the presence of your children. Slapping yourself. Insulting one another. Abusing one another. And then after that, no, no. Yehovah, Jimmy, go, Lord. No, go, hear me. You come here, so, no. Say, Yehovah. Now, but Peter began to curse and to swear. Hey, the word swear, he took an oath. And this is dangerous. Hey, he swear, saying, I know not this man, Jesus, whom you speak. Hey. To this in Matthew 16, he said, You are Christ, the Son of the Living God. But now look at what he's saying. Not everyone that helps you loves you. There are keys that are Holy Ghost keys, and there are keys that are keys for betrayal. Betray you right now. He said, the one I kiss, Judas said, is the one you should arrest. Be careful who kisses you. If you're a lady, any man, you allow the man to kiss you. Any man you see, you sleep with that man. So before you get married, you slept with 20, 15, 10 guys. 70 abortion. Seven abortion, three abortion, eight abortion. You become uh, uh, what do you call? God should forgive you, but I, I'll get there. Are you here? He said that I didn't know. I, I love him. Do you know love? You, you only know spelling. You can spell capital L, capital O, capital B, capital I. All that you know is what you can. And the guy say, I love you. Because he bought you Brodo. Are you here? Look at it. He cares. And he said, I don't know. Listen. That is why.
If we're in this church, we are blessed. I'm telling you. Why? Because we are for people. That's the key. We are for people. That's the key. Are you? Now the last verse, 72. And the second time, the cockwat, cockwat, and Peter called to the mind the word that Jesus said unto him before the cock crew twice. Thou shalt deny me tracks. And when he taught thereof, he what? Now, are you here? Listen to me. When the angel was talking to the people, he said, Tell the disciples and Peter that Jesus is risen. It's because of this. He mentioned the name Peter specifically so that they will let Peter know that after his resurrection his sins are remitted and forgiven. Are you here? If you are here no matter whatever you've done in life I don't know what kind of sin you committed the devil say you cannot be forgiven. It's a lie. As I have said it you are completely forgiven. Are you here? He said, I smoke. So I cannot come to church. Listen, you are forgiven. If you are forgiven and remitted, and you are still smoking, come to church and listen to the message. One day, inside has changed. So outside will also change. He said, there are people who are living in the same house with them. Uh, uh, they said, me, I go to church every day. But I do some things that is not right. And so I will not go to church. Hey! You know you cannot stop. That is why you are going to church. So that the Lord will help you stop. So no matter what they say, they try to stop you. But don't stop yourself. No, you didn't get this. Hear that guess no, say it again. Say it. They try to stop you, but don't. Because, listen, not everyone that steals is a thief. You understand the language? Eh? Eh? There are some Christians who lie, but they are not devil. The Bible said the devil is a liar. So if a Christian lies, he or she is not a liar. Are you here? Are you here? That's why you keep on coming to church. Listen to the message. Stop into the anointed. One day, it will vanish like that. Listen. He said, tell the disciples, I'm risen. And Peter, I'm here to tell you. Tell the whole world that Jesus is risen. And kingdom power family members. God said I should address you. That you are forgiven. No, your aiming is too small. Tell somebody Jesus has forgiven you. So forgive yourself. There are people who are still living in their own sins. If God forgives you. And you don't forgive yourself. You are still condemned. Listen. You made a mistake. You have asked for forgiveness. Live as if it didn't happen. Today, if you have not received Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, if you don't have internal life in you, if you have not said, Oh, Jesus, the Son of God, if you have not said, Oh, I believe in his death. that he died he resurrected in my place if you have not done it and you want to receive Christ into your heart lift up your right hand and I will lead you to Christ thank you brother thank you if you want to receive Christ into your heart to remit your sins Forgive you completely. Lift up your right hand above your head. 